Good chat Hello everyone, good morning and welcome back again to Travlog and Food and Empire channel. So as you see guys, I do have apples here with me and these are all from my in-laws garden. And what we're going to do, as what you can read in the title, we will be going to press them. In German they call it apple saft and or in English apple pressing and these are still good apples except that some of them are already damaged and we just don't really know how to or what to do with them so we decided to bring them to the mosterei something like this in German so we will let all these apples to be pressed and then we will put all the juices in this container and then later on we will go into cook them and we will going to show it to you so this is kind of interesting to me guys and to be honest this is also my first time to do this so yes let's try to do this all together and we'll show it to you so that's our home oh you forgot to turn off the lights so i'm not recording now to the, to the guy who we're going to press all these apples we don't have unfortunately the machines but it's not going far i guess Oh, this is where we live. This is the place or the village that I grow up. Mosterai. Yeah, I saw it already. Mosterai. So first we need to wait all these apples because of course we have to pay the guy later and he always um, based on um, depending on how many kilos he has or he needs to press so yeah we actually have 200 kilos in total so first we need to put all these apples in this big container and then wash them thoroughly with the water before we put them in the machine to remove all the skin so now we have to wash all the apples then wow so So this is really pretty convenient as you can see guys um you only need to put all the apples there and then the machine will automatically cut them into pieces and by the way guys um those what you are seeing now are not dirt those are actually the stains from the apple or the juices from the apple but they're not dirty so yes on this round machine here um this is the one that pressing all the apples and taking off all the juices and it is going down towards to our container so this is kind of convenient guys uh, actually instead of pressing all these apples one by one so this machine is at least really useful
Mama, he wrote, I took to remove all the pasta skins and the leftovers from the apple. He is trying to remove it now. And then somebody will get him. There, that is the end hanger. Somebody will pick them and then bring them to the um to the real line to the deers because the deer love love apples. So it's really um yeah, it's just it's really worth it because first the juice we could you could use it for the for drinking and then the rest of the apples um the deer could eat them. So this is so far the um, the apple juices that we pressed out of 200 kilos. So we're done now and we are preparing to go home and the, especially that there's a new customer who just arrived. As you know, the Siddiq are also weighing now their apples. So we're going home and we will try to cook this apple juices. It looks like a rice cooker, rice cooker. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. So now we are home and we are preparing now to cook this pressed apple juices. So yes guys, you have to check time by time if the juice already reached the 80 um, degree temperature to avoid um, getting it overcooked. So you always have to measure it. Six, six, six. So yeah, it's, uh, 76? Mm -hmm. The love note said. I'm fine enough. So as you can see now guys, um, the soft or the juice temperature is now 80. So this is finally cooked or finished. So we will be going to put them now on our final um, um, container to preserve them. But make sure to remove first the um, 
foam from the juices before you put them to your plastic bag or to your container. So yes, after we removed all the foam from the apple juice, we can finally put it now to our plastic bag or to your container. And by the way, this plastic bag that we have here, we actually bought that from the guy who pressed the apples today. And this can weight or um, could take at least 5 kilos of apple juice. And yeah make sure by the way guys that before you lock or you close your plastic bag your container or whatever do you have make sure to release first all the air inside because as we know there's bacteria in our air and this bacteria could damage our apple juice so better to release them out so we could at least preserve our apple juice at least a year or so Make sure by the way to wear your gloves because this is really hot and also the apple juices are sticky to our hands. So yes, that's all for our apple pressing vlog and making self-made apple juices. So yes, I hope you enjoy this vlog for today guys. And by the way, um, I'll drop 200 kilos apple. We actually have a few battles and 24 plastic bugs and each bag actually contains 5 kilos so that was quite a lot and it is really worth it and healthy because as you see this is pure apple, apple juices. I hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give us a like and also please to subscribe to our channel to get more updates on our future vlogs and also we are inviting you all to join the membership in our channel travel and food and empire please let's stay connected to each other and we'll see you again in our future vlogs bye